hope you press the snooze button. Turn it up. <clears throat> no. You're too uptight. Come back to bed. I would love to, but in case you've forgotten, I've got a very big Daddy. day. No, he's the pillow. Come on, Ellie. Oh, oh. <laughs> Passports, tickets. Morning. We're off tonight. And I can't wait. Mm. Oh. What do I need to shave? Uh, yes. The George Michael look never worked for me. Thank God for that. And are you wearing this? Obviously. Um... Do you know, when you begged me to marry you and I agreed, I didn't think I was going to get my own personal dresser. It's a good job I'm prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. My single status. The pub. The footy. I get lost. I am the best thing that ever happened to you. <laughs> I'm going to have a shave. Oh, love, this is all rubbish. You'll be saying that when you get locked up. Well, two years for bigamy. Shh, look, it won't come to that. Well, why won't it? Because I, I you know, probably won't even go through with it. Look, all I want is for a little bit of time on my own with Eddie, away from school. The wedding's not until the end of the first week, so... So, uh, you're going to tell him? Well, yeah, yeah, I've got to pick the right time. Of course I'm going to tell him. I certainly don't want him finding out that I'm a, you know... Um... Trust me, love, I got us into this mess. I'll get us out. Gonna go use Cleaver's shower. No, he's got a boxing match. He'll catch you. Full chance, mate. The phantom shower strikes again. <laughs> used to have his shampoo, man. You're early birds. I'm impressed. Oh, we're just sorting some stuff out. You know, for the cheerleaders, for the boxing. Well, wow, looks like I'm going to be all right for another day. I'm pregnant, Dante. And I'm not going to have my baby in a tin can. I want to go back to Tom's. Oh, I can't. I can't face it. It's embarrassing for me and all. We're just going to have to face facts. We're just going to have to admit to everyone that it all went down the pan. God. They've done it. They've kicked him out. Well, they can't have it. But I don't think wanting to remove means welcome home, does it? Well, does Rose know me? Oh, Tom, don't go blaming yourself. Everyone on the street knows she was a pain in the backside. Yeah, it was. Well, we don't really know his capabilities, so we'll get him assessed and make sure we put him in the right classes. Well, he's never been the best at concentrating, have you, love? But, uh, <laughs> as long as he behaves himself. Why don't you ever wander around, you know, get used to the place? It's going to be all right, you know. Thank you. Denzel, you should be proud of your mum. She's achieved a lot since you've been away. <laughs> she not me. Oh. No way. So you feeling the pressure, mate? No, I'm good. Great. Time, did you end up getting your bed down last night? About two. Texting me at half three. Are you knackered? I'm fine, man. Come. Hey, are you ready for the biggest day in Waterloo Road history? The place is buzzing. Oh, yeah, and Bolton Smart is fighting for the UK Championship tonight. <laughs> Thanks to you. I've got to take my hat off to you. Without your support, I reckon Bolton would have given up the ghost a long time ago. A bit like you and marriage, that, isn't it, Teddy? Ooh. Well, listen, Rachel, we really appreciate you looking after Philip while we're away. Well, as long as he can live without chicken nuggets and satellite TV, that's fine with me. I'll eat anything. Hey, Mel got us an upgrade at the hotel last night. 
honeymoon suite, champagne, caviar, as much food as we can eat. I'm going to come back about three stone heavier. Honeymoon suite? That is fantastic. It's going to be really special. Oh, really special. Yeah. Yeah, all right. You can go now, love. Is he okay? Yeah, he'll get used to his little ways, won't you, Eddie? Mm. Please don't tell me that's back on. Love, you're in a different league. Please don't waste time on this lad. Dad, get used to it. I love him. Simple as. See you later. Sorry, sir. Should have been here 20 minutes ago. What's the matter? Are you nervous? Yeah. Good, good. We need nerves, mate, eh? But not so they affect your performance. You have to have this fight one in your head. If you doubt yourself, you're gonna lose. Well, I have any doubts? Are you sure about that? Ready? Oh. If you think you're ready, you're not ready. All I'm seeing is nerves. When you step into the ring at that precise second, that is when you've got to convince yourself that you are ready. I will be. Yeah, exactly, because you are, mate. You are the best young fighter in the UK, right? Yes? Yes, I hear you. Good, because you've got the speed, you've got the agility, you've got the strength. It's just that <laughs> in there. I'm not quite sure what's going on with you. It's that in there that separates the great fighters from the good fighters. All right, come on. Next couple of hours are crucial. We've got to get the timing spot on. Because when you step in the ring, that's when you just let it go. Like, let it go. Now then, do you remember Miss Koreshi? Yeah? Oh, Jasmine. Hey, Denzel. It's good to see you. Hey, you're the first to arrive. Good, isn't it? Oh, come on, Denzel. Don't look so worried. It's going to be OK, you know. Let's find you a seat. Yeah? Tom, I was just wondering, would it be all right if me and Dante came around for dinner uh, tonight? Yeah, it's great, sure. I'll get some beers in, or fruit juice, whatever. Rachel, yes. I need to speak to you. Okay. I look, love. <clears throat> Honeymoon suite, that, that was just to keep Eddie happy. Why'd you need to do that? You saw what it was like, um, was like a big kid. I've never seen anyone so excited. Yeah, because he loves me and, and, and when I tell him, he'll understand. I promise. You're not gonna tell him, are you? You did it to Dad. And you're gonna do the same to Eddie and when he finds out, he's gonna leave us, which is great. No, so. love. Look, I want to tell Eddie the truth with all my heart. I want to tell him. And right now, my plan is for us to be on our own so I can sit him down and you know, explain everything. I certainly don't want you worrying about the problems that I've created. You're my number one priority. Come straight to the point. I don't want you seeing Flick. Mr. Mayor. Five thousand pounds. For you to finish with her for good. The offer's a serious one. Five grand. Yeah, right, we're just like that. No, not just like that. Two and a half grand now, and the rest when you finish with her. You know, I'll give you one thing. You've got a good sense of humour, mate. Flick is my only daughter. And I will do everything I possibly can to keep her safe. What, well, you think I'm going to harm her? I haven't got a problem with you. You've got a brother inside for murder, a mother who doesn't give a toss what you all get up to. Look, you know nothing about my mother, all right? And Flick! Well, Flick can make her own decisions. No, she can't. 
Look, Marley, I am willing to pay you and your family a lot of money. And what's Flip gonna say when I tell her you try to bribe me? I don't think you will. I know you care about her. You know what, I'm gonna love proving you wrong. I mean, really love it. And you can guess where you can stick your money. Five grand. You know my number. Yeah. How's it going? Good, man. Yeah. How's Bolton? Oh, he's great, no problem. Yeah. Well, listen, just in case I don't get the chance, congratulations, you've already done the school proud. Ah. No, I'm serious. In over 20 years teaching, nothing comes close to the excitement generated by this fight. UK champion. Eddie, he hasn't won anything yet, so I don't... Like he's gonna lose. Good luck, mate. This morning, boarding up the front door. Happy now. All valuables and possessions have been removed from the property. Where's all our stuff? Just a number. A number. A number. Don't put my family on the streets. Do you know Calm that? Calm down. Tom is trying to help you. Help? Don't make me throw up. He's been phoning the council, signing petitions. You wanted to get us kicked out. I am not responsible for getting you evicted. But I regret what's happened and I want to help you. And I want to help your family. He's offered to take you to the Housing Association, put a good word in for you. Come on, it is worth a shot, Rose. Look, come on, they'll cover for you in the kitchen. Well, staying around here is not going to solve the problem, is it? Ten years ago, after my injury, I was I was facing the biggest challenge of my career. I'd, I'd lost a lot of confidence, and uh, everything depended on this one race. So I did the training and the preparation, and it was a second before the start. Uh, what happened? I bottled it. I was focused on the prize. Not the task ahead of me. For real, you bottled it. Do you see what I'm saying? Bolton, you are this close. You can smell it. The only thing that is stopping you is you. I got about two hours sleep last night. Oh, mate, this is the biggest moment of your life, man. If you win, that is it. You got the lot. But if you lose, it's no prospects. No, I don't want that. Great athletes in any sport always have nerves, but they get help. How do you mean? Well, they use uh, science. Perfectly legal medical science. Now, these work by triggering the pituitary gland in the brain to release endorphins. It's the uh, chemical the body produces when you exercise. It is kind of like a natural pain relief. So, yeah, they'll help you with the concentration levels. They'll keep you calm and focused. You take two of these in 20 minutes, You'll feel different. 20 minutes. Trust me, man. You'll feel invincible. Hi, I'm uh, Mrs. Nelson, Principal Housing Officer. You're Mrs. Kelly? Hi, I'm Tom Clarkson. I'm a neighbour and a teacher at Waterloo Road School where Miss Kelly works. Oh, right up front. 
I'm so sorry for all the trouble I've caused. I, I know I've been a bad tenant. Are you the same Mr. Clarkson who signed this? Uh, yeah, I, I am, yeah. But, um, well, I'm here to tell you that Rosie's circumstances have, have totally changed. Uh, Miss Kelly now has a job. Her kids are under control. I mean, all the neighbours feel the same way. Miss Kelly, I'm afraid once an eviction notice has been served, there's nothing we can do. Told you. Well, there must be some way of reversing the decision, surely. You received three written warnings for antisocial behaviour, none of which you responded to. Yeah, well, I was busy, all right? With one son inside and another up for murder. I'm afraid it's a three strikes rule. It's absolutely non-negotiable. Uh, so what would you advise we do now? I'm not in a position to advise, Mr Clarkson, but I can give you information that will explain your rights and tell you where you can get advice. I don't need leaflets. I need somewhere where my kids can sleep. Rose. Thank you. Come on. I've not known you for very long, but I know that you're not thick. Everybody calls me that. Do you know what? I am thick. How about we get you some support? Someone to help you with your writing. Is that what's up? Sam. I'm not sure she... She always helps me at home. I feel good, man. Different. There you go. See, all we're doing is helping you stay focused on the task ahead. You're ready. You step in that ring. You don't fear anyone or anything. Yeah, sir, you know what I am? You know, and you... What about it? Yeah. That. How did you feel in that? that? How was your coaching? He was an idiot. He knew nothing about motivational skills or sports science, whereas you, on the other hand... I'm going to be honest with you, Bolton. This means just as much to me as it does to you. Probably even more. Well, sir, just so you know... Never be standing in a doll queue. Bang! Year nine would do mob happy this morning. Uh. Eddie Mel's wedding card. Oh, thank you. Wish I was going to Caribbean. You wouldn't get me on a plane to the Caribbean for a gold clock. Caravan again for you, Grantley. Mm, Cockermouth. Better than any of those foreign places by a mile. I'll give it six months. You know something I don't? Oh, come on, Matt. I've got a travel-sized tube of toothpaste been going longer than them. And courtship's not all it's cracked up to be, Stephanie. Took me five years to pop the question to my Fleur. Hmm. Fleur, will you go out with me? Right. Nervous wobble over. I would hate to be on the receiving end of his fist. That boy's pumped up something rotten. Everybody, arrangements for this afternoon. Leaving them here. We'll close after lunch. So lesson's over from the top. Yay! <laughs> Be great. Um, and coaches will be here by then, so, well, it should be a great high to go out on, shouldn't it? Oh, Rob, good luck. I'm sure Bolton's going to be brilliant. Thank you. And then let's just have a fantastic holiday, hey? Before we head back to our DVDs and word searches, lunchtime, we're going to have a drinks reception to bid bon voyage to our soon to be married couple, okay? Oh, gosh, what a surprise. <laughs> I never saw him as uh, settling down and married on a beach type. What's your secret? No secret, just a good old-fashioned love affair. Oh, isn't that lovely? How's Rachel taking it? Taking it? Well, you know what sisters are like. I've not spoken to mine for 15 years. She's been great about it. She's been really supportive, hasn't she, Eddie? <laughs> oh, good. We do make a nice couple. Mm. I've changed my mind. Really? Give it six weeks. Well, you're going to have to go private. That means raising some money. I haven't got any money. No, but your catering business has. The business doesn't have any money. We're just selling those. Well, then you're going to have to get emergency housing. I'm not going into a B&B &B or a hostel. No way. Well, then think about it. <sighs> well, Candice will never go for us. You don't know that. Let's see what she says. Right, if I multiply the number on the card by four, the answer's 20. What's the number on the card? What card? That card. I don't know my times tables. Just count up in fours. Sam, it needs to be dental's work. 
just read the questions and write for them. Is it five? Now work out the total. Uh, which colour is the least likely? How many little things is on there? So how many bits on there? Which colour is the least likely? Well done, Denzel. Oh, I hope it did all right. Yeah, I'll mark it just now and get back to you as soon as possible. Sam, do you want to take Denzel to his next lesson? Yeah. Come on. Get through this, Denzel. It's only your first day back. Don't you worry about him, miss. I'll sort him out. It would only be for a few hundred, just enough for a deposit and a month in advance. Look, I I'm sorry, Mr. Clarkson. It's a, a business loan. We can't use it for personal use. Rose, you know I'd do anything I could to help you. I mean, I could lend you about 100 quid if you want to me on. No, Candice, thanks for offering. We'll sort something out. Here, you should get back. Right. It'll take as long as you want, yeah? Here. Yeah. We've been evicted, love. Ah, the bailiffs came this morning after you left. How can they just... Throw a family on the street like that. I know I've messed up, and if saying sorry a million times would help, I'd say it. Are you sorry now? I'd do absolutely anything to turn the clock back, love. You got what you wanted then? No, it's not Mr. Clarkson's fault, it's mine. I just got so caught up with Denzel and Earl and all the crap. That's what happens now. It's done all right. Average quantitative, non verbal reasoning. Excellent. You know, I can't believe he's never been assessed for dyslexia. I can arrange learning support. Yeah, OK. Then give Denzel his results. Oh, and get a note around, because I want the staff to be prepared for when he comes back next time. You got time? Yeah, I want it. OK. Jasmine, really good work. Well done. Now, watch this. Hey, take it easy. Hey, Ah, oh, dead excited for you. Max would have loved to have been there to see you win. Yeah. Well, when I do win, I'll dedicate it to her. That's men. I've got a good feeling about this, you know, Jan. No one's going to stop me from winning now. I mean it. Cheer up. You're about to marry the man you love. Well, it's only husband number two, no big deal. Mel, um, I think that you should have this. What? What is it? Mum's necklace. Rachel. Well, I just thought you might like to wear it, you know? On the beach or... <laughs> I, I, well, I would like you to have that. I can't believe it. You've done so much for us already, what with Philip and introducing me to Eddie. Thank you. Mel, this is a big question, but I, I've got to ask it. Are you sure that it's, it's what you really want? Absolutely, yes. Good. I think he's going to make you a great husband. I know he loves you very much. You're an amazing sister. <laughs> Kelly, we've got a bit of news for you. What is this? We've got anorexia. He's got dyslexia. So he's not thick like you've always said, Mum. I never said he was thick. What's happened? I've got a disease. You know, you've not got a disease, you muppet. It's just that his brain's a bit messed up, isn't it, Miss? <laughs> no, but identifying it does mean we can get him loads of help. And it's not going to stop you from doing well at school. He's not been screened yet, so it's not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure that's what's been holding him back. Oh, that's great news. Well done, love. And it means we can get our game plan in place at the beginning of next term. So, well done. What's wrong, Mum? Oh, nothing, love, but I'll see you when you get back. Mm. Come here, you. Is 
you won't change your mind about coming? No? No, no, I couldn't bear to see him get out. I'll probably end up at Ring myself. <laughs> Kate violence, but knock him out. Right, it's time for the toast and presentation, Rachel. I'm doing it. Yeah. I thought you said it was informal. I'd be glad there's no karaoke machine. <laughs> OK. Um, I'm stuck for words. I'm sorry. Oh, just say something nice and give us our present. Something nice. That's going to be tricky. OK. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I couldn't have a better deputy. And I couldn't have a better sister. And you're getting married, so that's fantastic. <laughs> so, here's to Eddie and Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, everyone. Word of advice, Edward, after 20-something years of marriage, never go to bed on an argument. <laughs> Stay up and fight. <laughs> Theos. Cheers. You look happy. Yeah, I am. And don't worry about her. I'm going to make her happy, too. Oh, I'll make sure you do. Don't worry. Congratulations. Right. Now for the important stuff. What? Let's get to the boxing. Hey. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> those I said it was a seat, Jan. Yeah? It's a bit hard. See you down there. I think oh, that's the lock. Hey, we'll follow you. Let's go. Oh, Come on. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm right. Mom. Right. Um. You look for those ones. I'll do these ones. Obviously, ignore the really expensive ones. And then once we've circled them, we'll uh, start phoning, yeah? Snap out of it. Sorry, Sarah. Will. I think we need another little boost, yeah. Good. Now we can serve our energy. Slow, deep breaths. We focus our thoughts because when you step in that ring, nothing else matters. Okay. There to win, yeah. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? 
What a vape. Yeah. All right. Rob's done a good job. Okay, lots of whooping, yeah, lots of noise. We want to feel really motivated. That's it. It's quite an achievement getting him this far. Thank you, Davina. Apology accepted. So, can I go and see him? Yeah, okay, five minutes, Jimmy. Cheers. Just you, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I thought I was acting in Bolton's best interests. I'm allowed to be wrong, aren't I? What are you doing? Hi, John, you're right, Chip. What are they? Just stuff boxes, take. Yeah, cleaver, give me them. Cause them my focus pills. Help me concentrate on that. It's pretty sick. They really work. Are you alright? Sweating car? Yeah, I just done my warm up in it. Right, I've got to go. Mwah. Good luck, yeah, and I'll see you out there. Thanks. <laughs> Won't need it. <laughs> Alright, well up for it. Mr. Cleavish just give him some of them focus pills. Focus pills? Yeah, proper pills. I'm sorry, Janice, Mr. Cleavish gave him pills. Well, what kind of pills? Well, are they from the doctor or what? No, I don't think so. Just to help him concentrate on winning the fight. in Rob's bank. He's been giving them to Bolton. What are they? Well, I don't know. They could be anything. Yeah, and they could be completely harmless. But well, what's he doing giving him pills? Supplements? I really don't know. Bolton told you he's there to help him keep focused. Well, he must be giving them to him to boost his performance. Still, it's... Okay. But the thing is, we don't know, do we? Oh! 
Or sit down. You. <sighs> Look, let's not jump to conclusions. Jazz, I think this is serious. You need to do something. You keep dropping your hands. You've got to get your jab away and then back up, all right? Okay? You've got to keep throwing, but just pick your shots. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Have you been giving these pills to Bolton? Oh, where'd you get them from? Did you get them from my bag? Davina found them. What are they? The, the, they're vitamin pills. Can you put them back, please? They don't look like vitamin pills. Listen, please, Jazz. You should be over there, okay? This is not the time. Go outside and get some fresh air. We need to get you seen to, don't we? Shall I get your mum? Oh, I'm all right, Rach, honest. Just need a glass of water. Has something happened? No, I'm all right, honestly. Okay, I'll get you a drink. Let's do it. Have you got anything any cheaper? Oh, all right, no, thanks, 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 cheers. Everything's a fortune. I hope we'll be able to get anything. How much did you say we had again, Mum? About 200. Here, try this one. That was the best punch I've ever seen, mate. What a fight have you gone all the way? Go all the way, mate. Sir. Look, OK, we can roll him now. Is he going to be all right? Just a precaution. Congratulations. Don't think anyone was going to get in your way today. Are you going to tell him or hey, will I? Hey, 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 keep your voice down. Tell him you don't know what you're talking about. The boy's been injured and you've been giving Bolton these pills. I told you, they are vitamin tablets. She's an English teacher. She... Have a look at those, please. What is going on? Why haven't they announced him as the winner? How much longer are they going to be, Eddie? We've got to go. Yeah. I told you we'd do it. Come on. Well, why haven't they announced it yet? I don't know. I'm going to go and find out. OK, well, we'll get the kids on. Yeah. Listen, why don't you go and see Philip and I'll sort this lot out? What? What's up? Passport, I can't find my passport. You're serious, I'm Melissa. So, have we won the fight or what? Hold on. We've just got to be satisfied that everything here is above board. How's the other lad? Is he okay? Uh, officials only, sir. Uh, I'm Eddie Lawson, deputy head Waterloo Road. How many of these did you take? It doesn't matter how many you took. I'm not asking you. 
Of six. Why did he give them to you? He said that they'd help me concentrate on the fight. There's nothing wrong with that. Did he tell you they'd help you win? You were putting words into his mouth. You don't have to answer that if you don't want to, Bolton. Uh, yeah. Do you have any medical training, Mr. Cleaver? Uh, so, so, what's going on? Are they illegal? Of course they're not illegal. They are a health product. So what happens now, Doctor? There'll be an investigation and we'll have a urine sample. We'll have a one? It's your call. I think I've heard enough to put this result on hold. What? I won that fight clean out? OK, everyone on the coach, please. Eddie, I can't find my passport. It's not my bag. Are you sure? Yes. Hey, hey don't panic. Did you leave it at home? No, I don't know, maybe. Well, look, go home, see if it's there. I'll go to the school and have a look, and I'll meet you there, all right? Come on, let's move it. We'll find it. It's not the only thing I've got to worry about. The results have been postponed. What do you mean? I mean, there could be something seriously dodgy about Rob's training methods. Rob, what is it? This is Davina's personal vendetta against me. What? I mean, she was just worried about you. Of course, it is. she can't stand to see me win at anything. Please, you're going to have to back me up. What have you done? Bolton, can you wait on the coach, please? I'm going back with Cleaver. Bolton. It's been a mix up here. A mix up? It's okay. Can you and Matt get the kids on the coach? Thanks. Nothing happened. This is a joke. Okay, let's continue this back at school. Come on. Please, Jess, you're going to have to help me. Please support me. Jasmine, we're waiting. Rob, I can only see what I'm on. We've tried everyone in here. We can't afford these. Can't always knock on doors. Come on, we're gonna have to get a hostel, okay? One night and then we can sort something tomorrow. No, I'm not having Denzel going into one of those places. It's too like where he's been for the last nine weeks. Okay, okay. Hey, text out Sam. Tell her to meet you. I'm gonna be about an hour, okay? Why? Where are you going? I'm sorting it all right, Mom. Lad was struggling. I couldn't let him go in the ring unless he was ready. His mind had gone, he was all over the shop. So it was for Bolton's safety? Yes. Look, I admit it's not a, a method that you'd read in a coaching manual, but it worked. You gave the boy a pill and you told him he was Superman. That is not a method, Rob. That is a breach of your duty of care. After all the effort you put in, no one's questioning your commitment, but this was wrong, Rob. Simple as that. Well, in my view, what you did was, at best, a serious error of judgment. So when you get back next term, and after the boxing authorities have done their investigation, you'll be facing disciplinary proceedings. Until then, I... What? Why? Until then, I'm suspending you, pending a full investigation. All I did was give the kid his five a day and a tablet, for God's sake. We've only got your word for that. It could have been a jelly bean, Rob. That's not the point, and you I know it. I put everything into Bolton's preparation, and I never heard you complaining. It's got nothing to do All with it. All the kudos the school would have received, and you'd have given a couple of jelly beans for that, wouldn't you, no? If you think that, you don't know me, and you don't know this school. I won that fight. I won it fair and square. Don't you mean Bolton won that fight, Rob? Nothing in there. Just a bit of loyalty. A bitch would have been nice. And what was I going to say? Rachel's right. You mean I played a mess with a young boy's head just to win a boxing you match? I know what this meant to me. I know what winning means to you. But what about Bolton? Uh -huh. Do you get what you've even done here? It's an absurd. It wasn't the best decision I've ever made, haven't I? Have I? You've been loving your life through this. It's totally consumed you. Oh, I'm sorry it's such a disappointment, but that is me. Well, I don't like that me. Jazz, Jazz, please. I know I've let a lot of people down. I'm sorry about that, but whatever you think about me, you cannot think that I've put Bolton at risk. Consciously, no. But you put yourself before your pupil. And that's unforgivable. That's a bit strong, isn't it? No. I don't think so. I need to go. Jazz, but... Jazz. 
You and me, though, we're st still okay, right? No. They're not okay. Oh, Mel. Look, uh, don't panic. Just get back to the school and we'll retrace your steps, all right? Yeah, well, I reckon we've got half an hour from when you get back here. Okay. I've got to go. Well, I'll come and help. No, no, no. You stay and deal with Rob's paperwork. And enjoy. <laughs> She's probably thrown it away or something. It's better than I going to a country from within the EU, then they could have used any form of photo ID. Suspended him. Chance, oh, come here. I'm so sorry. It's a one way to end a relationship, isn't it? Look, why don't you come round to ours tonight? Eh? We can have a good girly chat and slag him off properly. Oh. I'll be okay. You sure? Yeah, honestly. Um. Someone left this on the coach. <laughs> we need to try and find Rose. Should I go and get off from the chipper? Pudding, mushy peas, chips and gravy. I'm not even that hungry. No, what? No matter what anybody says, she won that fight. Do you hear me? I sit, John, man. No more boxing. Tell you the truth, I didn't even like the feeling when that kid was laid out. All there. Count it if you want. Just so we're absolutely clear, you taking this money means you keep well away from my daughter. Philip. Your mum and Eddie are about to miss out on the holiday of a lifetime, so I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you know where that passport is? What's wrong? What's happened? I promise I wouldn't say anything, but... I don't think it's fair on Eddie. I'm sorry, you're not making any sense. Mum's still married. What? Actually, she's married to two men. My dad and some other bloke. She married my dad when she was still with the first husband. No, I'm oh, sorry, you're wrong. She told me she got divorced. She lied. <laughs> she never went through with it. It's true, Rach. Oh, Philip. Did you have it when you left the house this morning? Melissa, did you have it this morning? Um, check-in closes in about an hour. Just think. Just think. Is, is this what you're looking for? Oh, Rachel! Hallelujah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where did you find it? Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. Come on, Mel. Actually, uh, Eddie, can I have a word with Melissa in private, please? Oh, we're related of us. It is. We're just going to scrape by. Eddie's right. I'll, uh, I'll call you from the airport, right? Now, Melissa. I I'm sorry. I we're going to miss our flight. Why did you do it? Why? If you're not going to tell me, at least tell him the truth. Tell me what? Oh, for God's sake, what is this? What, are you ill? Have you murdered someone or something? Uh, I'm, I'm married. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I'm, I'm still married, Eddie, to Philip's dad and to my first husband. Is this a joke? No, it's not. This is some sort of sister wind-up, right? It sounds pretty sordid, Eddie, but I can assure you it isn't. Mel, why didn't you say anything? I wish I had. I really wish I had. Well, the 
this is the first place we should have looked. Miss Clarkson. I thought you was going to wait at school. Oh, we're waiting for Marley. Right, well, uh, we'll get you some food. You're staying at ours. No arguments. What about Marley? We'll keep an eye out for him. Come on. I married at 18. It was a disaster. Three weeks later, I had to leave. Uh, I was just too scared and embarrassed to tell anyone. Then when Philip's dad left, I couldn't file for a divorce. You can't expect a kid to carry that kind of secret around when he almost passed out at the boxing, for God's sake. I can't believe he knew all this time. Poor kid. What level of deception takes some doing. You know, you looked me right in the eye and lied to me about everything. Never mind me, what about poor Eddie? You're supposed to love him, Mel. No, I know, I know, Rachel! I, I, I was going to tell you, I was going to tell both of you, honestly. When? Are you going to add it on after the I do? Sir? Bolton, I let you down, mate. Yeah, you did. Not just me, though. But you showed me a few things along the way. Helped me get my head sorted. I mean, this isn't going to be the end of your career. Next year, you're going to be, you're going to be stronger, you're going to be bigger. It's not going to be a career. That's it. I'm quitting. I'm done. Bolton, you could be a professional boxer. Easy. Easy. You have made me look like an absolute idiot! You're a long way from that. I feel so stupid! How could you keep such a huge secret from me? What did you think I was going to do? Run to the coppers? I thought you'd run a mile if you knew the truth. I couldn't do that again. I wanted it to work for us. To work? And what was our marriage to be based on then? Hmm? Truth. Lawful impediment. Pretty fundamental issues here, Mel. We're great together, Eddie. I love you. You can trust me on that. I'm sorry, I can't listen to any more lies. OK! Look, I know that I was wrong. But I'm not the only one who's been lying here, am I, Eddie? What about Rachel? You're in love with her, Eddie. Or you were in love with her, you didn't tell me that. Don't you dare! Don't you try and turn that round on me! It's got nothing to do with me! Rachel and I are fond of each other, but for you to imply... No, if you I'm... don't, then you don't need to explain yourself, Eddie! I know, I know you probably did love Rachel, but I, 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 just, I, just, I just thought, I thought you'd love me, me as well. I did! I did. It's out in the open now. I'll go to the police. You'll go to prison? No. I'll take that chance. Eddie. I want to marry you more than anything in the world. But you're going to have to choose. Choose? Well, if I'm going to be open, you need to be too. I know you and Rachel feel for each other. I know you do. It's me or her. Tom. What? Oh, I completely forgot you were coming. We let ourselves in. Oh. Look, we've given the flat up. What? What do you mean? We've been living in the van. We're skint, Tom, and we can't afford it. I know it's not our place to ask, but can we stay here? Well, of course you can. That, that's, that's not a problem. Um... Right. You've already got a house full. We can't do this. No, don't be daft. Come on. There's loads of room. No, Rose, you're staying. No argument. Come on. Come through. This is your home. You and Richard Branson can stay as long as you like. Don't want to meet at your house. No problem. Yeah. I just don't think it's ever going to work out, me and you. What? Because of my dad. Forget him, he's got nothing to do with it. It's not him, Flick. I just don't 
don't think we can. Look, what I'm trying to say is that we split up once before and then with your dad and everything, I... I just think there's every chance it could happen again. I mean, what's happened? Nothing. Nothing's happened. So what are you saying? That's it? We're finished? Yeah. I don't believe you. Something's happened. Tell me. Vic, I said no, all right? I don't fancy her. I don't want to go out with her. Rachel, it's Kim. I'm in. <laughs> 